Oh man. What's my squeaks, dude? I got squeaks all over on my bike. anybody with me today. Uh, Cowalicious, he's stuck working today, so I figured I'd just take the Grom out, you know, do a little, do a little solo, try a little solo vlog, since this is kind of the first one. So if you're here for the first one, welcome. Just going on a little, a uh, little bit of a Grom cruise right now. Uh, the Supermoto's not like a hundred percent street legal, so sometimes I feel a little sketchy riding it by myself. And, and when I'm by myself, I just misbehave on it like crazy. So I, I just go 100 everywhere and get into trouble. I'm just gonna go for a little cruise down a road I haven't been down in a while. It's a little bit of a slower road. So it should work out pretty good for the Grom. So I just, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping the mic sounds a little bit better this time around. I just installed a chin skirt on my helmet, a Bell MX-9, so they don't actually make chin skirts for this helmet, so I had to make one myself. Um, I basically just took a black, an old black t-shirt and just cut it and kind of crammed it in, added a few dabs of super glue, and I'm hoping that'll work. I'm hoping it cuts down the wind noise that I was having inside my helmet. And I also noticed that my microphone was sitting like directly on a wind vent. I didn't think it was actually working, but I taped that off. So hopefully that works too. And you guys can hear me a lot better and it's not, not as windy. Ultimately we're testing the mics out. Hey look, there's some dredgers in the river. So I've been trying to do second gear wheelies. I still really suck at the timing. Like really suck at the timing. But every now and then I've been able to get one. I have a tendency to like grab my helmet by the front and I, you know, with the chin skirts there, or chin curtain, whatever you want to call it, if that's there, then it kind of gets in the way of my thumb and I pull on it and I feel like I'm going to pull it out. I added like a tiny bit of super glue, but probably not enough to actually do anything, but I guess we'll see. I'm riding this road because last time I rode this road, I saw another Grom Bro. <laughs> I know there's a few Grom Bros in my town, but I can't seem to ever run into them when I'm on my Grom. I always run into them when I'm either on my Supermoto or on my Harley. So, quest to find Grom Bros. Let's go. Trying to figure out, well, I suck at wheelies in general on this bike, let's just admit it. That's so different from the 450, it, it's hard. It's, but I also am not the greatest on the 450 either. I mean, I can hit balance point, I can use the rear brake in it, but it's just, uh, I'm not, I don't have that comfort that everyone has just fucking sitting it back. I will have that terrible, like, fear in my head that, like, wants me to take my feet off the pegs and do st stupid shit like that. So I'm trying to overcome it, trying to get better, uh, but that's, in my opinion, the biggest thing holding me back right now is that fear of just pushing it past balance point on this bike it's just so weird to me to even get up to balance point I don't know I feel like I'm just still sitting forward on it and I need to really lean back more and try to try to look under the bars on this bike too Ooh, check out the Tesla what's up Tesla rotor or my front brake caliper like wobbling back and forth and I'm guessing that's probably because my rotor's bent and that's why I'm hearing all the squeaks at low speeds. Like the rub sound up there. I'm six foot three and like, I'm a big dude. I should be able to yank this bitch up. I'm the fucking very back. Ugh, it does not want to come. I mean, I envy, I envy all you guys that live in states where they like actually pull people over for being on their phones. Cause I'm literally almost killed by it every single day. Every single day, like truck, whether I'm in my truck or whether I'm on one of my bikes, I, I have to like swerve out of the way for someone that's like about to kill me. As they like veer into my lane or just cut out in front of me. It's it's really bad around here. It's really dangerous. And like people are getting injured, people are getting hurt, and no one fucking cares. Hey look, it's a scout bra. I'm not a scooter, I'm a bike. 
how many people are on their phones driving these days it makes me just think I'm really unpopular that's chill <laughs> there's a girl in a bikini she looks spicy bit better right there definitely hearing some fucking noise dude I think I have a bent rotor like one or two tries every like 20 minutes and then a car is on my ass we're gonna go explore this bridge minor exp exploration just to see what it's like down here guys oh there's nothing there's no fucking room back here for shit hopefully I don't pick up a nail or something back here but this is just some abandoned bridge there might be people here on the other side I don't know the other side's more common for people to drive up to than this one the other side actually has like some some room to do a wheelie or try one but definitely not this side yeah that's the abandoned bridge it's pretty cool i do want to check out the stunt spot but at the same time i don't really want to do it right now see if anyone's back there which they probably are there'll probably be like 20 people back there you know because that's just the way it is for me when i'm trying to do something like that's seriously what happens around here is like everybody knows everybody They're like, oh that's my cousins uncles brothers daughters wife sisters building they don't want nobody there out on my way all right we made it to the stunt spot i'm probably not even going to go in the private property i'll probably just stay off the property because if i stay off the property Am I doing anything wrong? Go in? Because this is just a road. There's nobody here. Nobody back here. Yeah, this is where I want to come back to when I get my cage try and practice <sighs> see I just can't get that like little bit more my rotor's definitely bent more money to spend on the ground boys There we go. That was a good one. All right. We're getting there. We're getting a lot more comfortable with it, getting up higher. See? You come to a stunt while you do like five in a row and you just get it. But out on the road, when you have to do them like do them in between like every 10 15 minutes because of traffic it just doesn't click but if you can find somewhere to actually practice that was literally my best one best one I've ever done yeah if you can find somewhere to practice you can actually practice Find somewhere to practice guys now i just need somewhere to practice second gear and right here but i can always just be like i didn't see it definitely got some sort of front end problem yeah don't kick your right leg out like i just did um 
you know, you're gonna need it for the rear brake, but I knew I was already going down, so. Woo. Guys, you don't even know, I'm so happy right now. Like, I haven't actually gotten to practice, ah! ah! Gotten to practice on this bike, like, except on the street. And like I said, I only get like one try every 20 minutes or so, because there's just always so much traffic. Let's get out of here before we overstay our welcome. And I guess we'll try, but I can't get these up. Ah. My bike is fucked, dude. Alright, let's go. Alright, well guys, I think that does it for today's vlog. Uh, thanks for joining me out, out by myself, practicing some Grom wheelies. We struggled with the second gear wheelies, but when we went to the stunt lot, I was able to actually get some practice in on the first gears, and we're starting to actually get them. I'm up higher, not really chasing them as much. That's what I like, step by step, day by day, guys. I haven't really been riding a lot by myself, but... I don't know, given that I just had a really good time at that stunt lot, I'm probably going to be going there a lot more often by myself, especially when I get my cage. I can get better on this thing. Uh, I definitely want to get better at second gear too, but I, something's just not clicking with me right now with that. I got to figure it out. But, but yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to post as much content as I possibly can. So, you know, give this video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah, it's definitely the caliper or something with the caliper or the rotor that's doing that.